This is Spoken by Ellsworth, a Femdom Hypnosis Podcast, Season 4. Today is Cyber Monday, and that means I have a free session and a limited time deal for you. Now, today's free session is one that you might have heard, especially if you're one of those guys that just must listen to everything I have available. If that's you, and you truly have everything free or not that I've put out there, let me know. Because I'm going to have to work out something different for you. But chances are there's still a session that you're missing. And you're in luck. Go over to SpokenByElswith.com and look at today's post for today's podcast. And you will find a special code that's good until Tuesday at midnight. But like I said, if you already own everything, get in touch with me. Now today's free session, it is the first installment, just a taste of getting longer for season four. Now the only thing required to enjoy this session is to make sure you've used the free sessions available in the Season 4 Beginner Bundle. That'll get you started. Then, go ahead, put on some headphones, and enjoy Getting Longer Part 1. The rest, they're available over on the website, so you're not really behind, but you will find as you listen through, this one especially for season four, it continues to change in little clever, subtle ways, as well as, of course, getting longer. All of the installments are right there, and every time a new one comes out, is automatically added into that bundle so you can instantly download it. But go ahead, if you have not tried Season 4 is Getting Longer, you are definitely in for a treat. Find somewhere private to be and enjoy. This is Getting Longer, an auditory experience, release one, spoken by Ellsworth. This session requires that you wear headphones to get the full experience. This session also requires the season four safe word setting session, Dear Darling and the Season 4 Deepener Trigger. Find a place where you're unlikely to be interrupted, where you can get comfortable, preferably in a sitting position. This is a heady session with plenty of auditory input. It is unlikely to create any unhappy experiences and never includes harsh degradation, feminization, or intense sensation play like caning. Plus, you can keep your clothes on. I know you're nervous. I know this by how you phrase the first text to me. 
asking if I had space in my calendar for you. I waited a while before I replied. I knew that was a nail-biting wait, wasn't it? We went back and forth only once. I suspect you would have cleared your entire calendar to make the appointment that I gave to you. After we agreed, I sent you a list of my expectations. How thrilling was that for you to have my list? For me to tell you exactly how to be perfectly clean before coming over. Yes, of course you knew we wouldn't be having sex. I made that perfectly clear. This would be an auditory experience. But there you are, showering in the soap that I requested, in the order that I specified face, behind the ears, neck, shoulders, armpits and then arms, all around those special lower bits, noting if anything needed tidying up. All of this learning how to be presentable. Learning what I find attractive, what I want in a man. You followed this list to the last letter, the how to get clean list and time both crawled and flew past until you find yourself just blocks away from my home. You text me asking politely for permission to knock on my door. This is also on the list of expectations. Before you enter the house, as the door is open, I look at you, up and down and up again. Our eyes meet and I love how you drop yours. It's not something that I always require, but I suspect you've read and watched plenty So you assume this is proper etiquette. You've never had someone like me give you her full attention before and it shows. Come on, come in. You can't stand on the doorstep all night. Follow me, we're going down the hall, down this way. 
as we go down the hall. There are other doors that are closed tight, but the one at the end is open. We walk through into a sitting room, neither plain nor too grand. It's just enough. If you look closely, you'll likely work out why the furniture is arranged the way that it is, why I pick certain pieces. Maybe you can even be clever enough to work out why there's an empty pedestal. A large grandfather clock stands in one corner of the room. Did you even notice the sound when you entered? The listening room is over there, I say, and point to a door. I love having this little room almost hidden off of this larger room. I don't know why it tickles my fancy like it does. Come on, follow me. I open the door and we both step in. You look more at ease, but I suspect that's going to change. You're quiet. I don't mind that. So, this is the listening room. I confess I got some of my inspiration from those architecture magazines. They had the vintage section and it was covering all kinds of things, but once I saw this room, I knew I had to have it. I love getting what I want. So, as you can see, there's different albums around, two comfy chairs, And even though the speakers are playing music right now, wouldn't it be nice, dear, to wear the headphones for this? It's more intimate. Now go ahead and sit in the chair and let's go over the rules. This first visit, it's mostly about seeing if I like you. And if I did, well, I do. It's knowing if you can follow rules, like the list of expectations that I gave you. Did you follow them? I know you did. You've wanted needed this encounter for a while. So in my listening room, there are other expectations. First, you will know when you need to use your safe word. You won't be punished for it. This is a judgment-free spot. Now, if you do it prematurely, You're just cheating yourself. If your limits end up being contrary to my desires, we'll talk it over at that time. So remember your safe word, removing the headphones. That's the basic first rule. For this session, this seeing if I like you session, 
You will be repeating what you hear through the headphones. No thinking required for this trip, right? I'm making it easy for you. Do you remember that I said that I tell you the secret to being amazing at femdom hypnosis? Do you want to know it? Here it is. Always follow my suggestions. <laughs> now, you've proven you can do that by the way you've come through, followed my instructions, and now you're here. You should be proud of yourself. The headphones are noise canceling. Don't be alarmed if sometimes you find yourself in complete silence. It's good to know how to be comfortable with just thoughts in your head. I will get you when our session is done and I will remove the headphones. So from when I put them on, until I take them off, just let yourself go. The only exception is if you need to use your safe word. So relax in the chair and remember, I'll get you when our session is done. This is an auditory experience. Now that you're where exactly you needed to be, I'll tell you about a simple step that we're starting with. You will be repeating after me. Now remember, you are in my small listening room, and it's just you. It's private. I'm not even in the room with you. So you're free to say and do and respond without being embarrassed at all. You will be reciting three sentences over and over. Let yourself swirl and sink and just enjoy it. You deserve this. My mind is ready. My mind is ready. My mind, my mind, is, mind ready. is ready. My mind is ready. My mind is open. My mind is ready. My mind is open. My, my mind, mind is ready. Is ready. Is ready. My mind is ready. My 
My mind is open. My mind is not my own. My mind is ready. My mind is ready. Focus on how this is You will do as I say. You even work. Right. Is that the best you can do? Are you supposed to If you can't do it right, I'll find someone who can be good. You need a little easy. She broke down his walls without him even noticing. And when she rebuilt the walls, she added windows to let the sunshine in. Be a good boy and recite your words. My mind is ready. My mind is open. My mind is not my own. I accept you. Ah, <sighs> well. You did such a good job. You know that, right? It's okay. It takes a moment to come back to the room. To find yourself. To find me. I'm just going to sit down next to you. Hold your hand and let you find yourself. It gets a bit heavy losing yourself to that. With time, you're going to get even better. And every time, just like now, I'll be here to take off your headphones, sit by you, and probably hold your hand. Or do you need a hug? Okay, I like you. Let's pick a date to get together again. But I want you to listen to me now. I'm going to help you wake up and out of trance. Five. Four. Three. Coming back to yourself. Coming back to yourself. Four. Oh, I see that smile. You've caught on. Three. Feeling all through your body. Two. Happy, proud, 
eager for more. One, zero. Fully awake, fully back to the room, ready to carry on with whatever your day holds, even if it's just falling off to sleep.